The National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, is alarmed by the rising political temperatures with a physical brawl at a funeral in Kisi, acting as a red flag on political intolerance ahead of the 2022 elections. Members of Parliament Silvana Zosoro and Simba Arati have subsequently been named in the NCIC list of shame. In the list of shame, we have the name of uh, Mr. Johanna Ngeno and uh, Mr. Mike Sonko. And uh, these two names, we have put their, them there because of their utterances and uh, their behavior. We also have included the names of uh, the two members of parliament who fought uh, two days ago in uh, Kisi, and uh, that is uh, Honorable Arati and uh, Honorable Osoros. I want to challenge NCIC on any case, any single case. Me, I'm ready, I'm here. No one has been arrested over the Kisi brawl, which was also a subject of deliberations between National Assembly Committee on Security and Interior CS Fred Matiangi. We have given firm recommendations to relevant authorities that political incitement will not be tolerated anymore. Swift legal and administrative action must be taken against any and all inciters, regardless of their political or social standing in the society. We have regulations, tough regulations, that will, in terms of us handling uh, rallies and also the, the funeral, so that we do not have this unnecessary um, tension in the country. The Parliamentary Security Committee now wants those involved or associated with violence removed from office or barred from contesting any seats. We are giving the leadership of Mansabit County 30 days to stop the tribal wars, which we have credible information that they are fueling in their region. Failure to which we shall have no choice but to commence proceedings in Parliament and the judicial system to have those elected removed from office for shedding innocent blood of Kenyans, we also shall commence removal proceedings in the National Assembly of any appointed state or public officer, irrespective of the position they hold. The committee further recommended a return to the Ministry of Health COVID-19 containment protocols.